Oh, this is a, this is a unique scenario, okay? Now, the y-intercept isn't hard to find on this still. And we will need it because we need the slope and y-intercept, right? Oh, it's at 0, 1 again. Dang it. That's fine. So we got a plus 1 as the y-intercept. We just need the slope. So any other ordered pair will do. They can be close together. They can be far apart. It doesn't matter. I'm going to use this one at 5, 1. Okay? Now, we could use the graph on this. I'm going to use both, actually. So I'd say these two connected this way, right? Which means you'd be going up 0. And then for me, I would go to the right, 5. So for my slope, I got up 0 and then to the right, 5. You can plug that in the calculator if you need, but it's still going to be 0. So this would be y equals 0x plus 1. 0 is the flattest slope we can find, right? And this is about as flat a line as we can uh, draw on the graph. Uh, but could we use the formula for it as well? Yeah, it's going to be the same thing, though. So you'd have the purple ordered pair at 0, 1, and the green ordered pair at 5, 1, right? And this would still show, if you put in the calculator, it would still show 0 on that, okay? Now, again, just so you guys understand, when you see this in ninth grade, not that you'll remember this stuff, but they would want the equation just written as y equals 1, which means the y value is 1 everywhere on that blue line, no matter what the x value is.